Hello, my name is Cahal Giomar, and I'm the course coordinator for Dublin City University's Aviation Management Programme, DC 117. We hope, if you have an interest in aviation, that this is a degree programme that you will consider taking uh, after the Leaving Centre is over as a pathway into the aviation industry once you have graduated. I'm going to talk to you now for a few minutes and show you a few slides about the course, what you can expect to study, the entry requirements, the careers that students get at the end of their time, and other relevant information. At the end of the slides, if you have further questions, I'll be giving you an email address and you are very welcome to contact us if you have further questions at that stage. Before I get on to the course, I should say a few words about the rather extraordinary conditions in the aviation industry in particular today. I have a few slides here showing passenger numbers at Dublin Airport, and then uh, transport movements, aircraft movements and transport at Dublin Airport as well, over the past 20 years. Here you see the passenger numbers in Dublin uh, on a strongly upward trend, but in periods when the economy has been weak or very weak, passenger traffic has fallen. And that trend of increases and decreases is even more strongly evident if you look at the aircraft movements, where the swings up and down are much bigger, uh, a small reduction after 9-11, an immense reduction after 2008, but followed by recovery uh, in both of those times. And I would say for today, it's clearly impossible to know what will happen in general in the future, and in aviation in the future. But the patterns of history show that there is a strong relationship between the performance of aviation and the performance of the economy. When the economy is strong, aviation is strong. When the economy is weak, aviation is weak. Uh, but since recoveries fall from uh, declines every time until now, we can be quite confident in saying that there will be a recovery uh, in the future and that air transport will resume the place that it has had in the past. What we don't know is how this will be brought about. What are, the, what are the changes that will occur in the industry? But in fact, that makes studying aviation at this time particularly apt because ways have to be found to help the industry to recover. And it's possible not only for universities, but for its own students to make a contribution to that area and to understand you know, what the new scene for aviation will look like. What does DCU offer for students like yourselves? So we have a Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Management that you enter after the Leaving Cert through the CAO. It's a four-year degree. All students take the first three years in common. And they study in the university and they follow courses or modules in management and in aviation. The reason these two things are combined is that employers tell us that they want to recruit graduates knowledgeable not just about aviation but about business in general since aviation companies like all companies are businesses and must survive as businesses. If you're studying with us in these first three years you'll be taking management courses like accountancy, law, economics, HR, business strategy. And these will be supplemented by modules in aviation, ranging over cargo, airline management, airport operations, aviation law and governance, fleet planning, and courses in the area of finance as well. In the fourth year, the students split into three groups. The majority remain in DCU for a fourth year to study further modules, and to leave the university with the ambition of working as aviation managers. Some students leave the university, go to a pilot training college, spend somewhat over a year there training to be a pilot, and return with their pilot's licenses, which in combination with their first three years results in DCU, gives them a degree from DCU in addition to their piloting qualifications. And the last option is a new one, the same as the second that I've just described, except that it is training to be an air traffic controller 
that students who choose that option um, finish. Where do our grad graduates work? So the course is 10 years old now, and we have a pretty good picture of where the graduates work. There are the obvious employers, airlines, whether as pilots or as managers, airport managers, air traffic control managers. There are less obvious employers in the finance and leasing areas, in government, in policy bodies. And then there's a large number of not well-known companies that provide services to all aspects of aviation and that also need to recruit managers. Ground handling would be a, a clear example of that one of those. All of these companies traditionally recruited at school leaving age, but they now all have graduate recruitment programs and are looking for university graduates to train as managers for their organizations and companies. International diversity is also highly valued. Airlines, for example, that are flying to new parts of the world want to employ staff that can help them to understand those parts of the world, the politics, the culture, to smoothen the path for the businesses that are flying there. In addition to international diversity, there is a strong emphasis at the present time to increase the proportion of young women who work in the industry. Now already, uh, some companies have a high proportion of women in areas like cabin crew, but many fewer women proportionately amongst pilots and almost no women at all in technical and mechanical areas. And the companies are very, very keen to, to reverse that and to pull up the proportion of women in the industry. So if you are a young woman and if you're contemplating aviation, this is an excellent time to be pursuing a job in this area. Why DCU? Well, first of all, ours is the only university degree uh, providing a specialized qualification in aviation management. And indeed, we've won an award uh, for that degree some years back. The aviation industry is large and complex, much more complicated than most people realize. There are lots of different stakeholders and companies. And the advantage of our degree is that it has been developed in conjunction with the industry to cover the topics the industry wants to see covered so that students leave with the skills and the knowledge that employers want. And that's obviously to the benefit of students looking for jobs afterwards. The structure of the course looks like this. There are four years, there are two semesters each year. Five of the first six semesters are spent in the university studying. One semester and one summer is spent on work experience. So there's a dedicated work experience office in the university, the intra office, that will help you to find a work experience for the period between second and you return from that having work experience, having worked in the industry, having developed a relationship with an aviation company. And when you come back to university, it would be easier for you to choose courses and modules based on what you then know about practical conditions in the industry. If in year four you're not staying in DCU itself, of course there are the pilot studies and the ATCO training options at that stage as well. We see the strengths of our program as being the following. There's the work experience. There's the partnership between the university uh, and the industry. There are the specialist modules delivered by managers working in the industry today and therefore in a position to bring students fully up to date. And we also have a speaker series where we bring chief executives, very senior managers from companies in the industry to talk to aviation students so that you get the perspective of these senior managers on the issues facing the industry today. So if I sum up, we're the only university offering a specialized aviation management course. You'll be studying both business and aviation topics as well. Uh, you'll have the other benefits that are listed there on the last slide. And if you're interested in aviation, we think this is the program for you. If you look for more information over and above what's been in these few slides, then you can send an email to us and we'd be very pleased to receive an email at the following email address, business at dcu.ie. Thank you very much for watching and listening.